Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to use the new version of my skin shader. Over here we have uh, a single directional light and this head which you can download at the link in the description of the video and uh, it also will be in the next update as a demo scene. So we have a basic setup, all I've did so far is changing a few values um, already because I wanted to test it and have correct values and what I did as well is adding this white texture as an occlusion map uh, as an ambient occlusion map because we don't want to use ambient occlusion in this demo so um, yeah you obviously have your standard diffuse map you can do this with the package when you download this ad um, you can just um, Add the color map and the specular map into one texture, and that's it. A normal map, which is already in, uh, which is already compressed, 4K by 4K. And yeah, next thing we need is a blend map. Um, so first of all, you could use a simple gray map. What it does is basically it says. Do I want to use the uh, more of the smooth layer or the standard bumped specular? If you have a look at this, this looks exactly like the standard bumped specular. And you could also use a more specific blend map. In this case, this is my blend map right now opened up in GIMP. Um, what it says is where it's um, yeah the bl the black areas are saying okay just use um, bomb specular for example if I would do this in this area he would only use the standard bomb specular and if I paint it all oh wait sorry if I paint it all white he would only use the smooth layer and if you have a look at what it is if you compare these two you can see it's more of uh, yeah the face is more of the smooth uh, smooth layer and the rest is bumped specular mostly on the uh, top of his head right here this area is mostly bumped specular um, yeah because skin is very thin at this point and yeah, next texture you would have is the translucency map. Oh no, I'm sorry, I, I forgot something. Of course, the color map. I've missed it. Um, let's open up the color map really quick. And this is the color map in separate channels. Um, the RGB channels are um, nothing special they're just a bit yeah a bit darker version of the usual color map um, they basically specify the light that comes out of uh, the skin when light goes through or the color of the light and the alpha channel is a smoothness map so it defines okay where um, on black areas you have hard light lighting and on white areas you have smooth lighting what it means is I guess I have to get a little bit closer oh wait I uh, know another yeah that should work um, if you have a look at his nose there doesn't change if you have a look at this part of his nose right here it doesn't change as much but if you have a look, exa for example, here, if I turn down the smoothness value, the skin looks, yeah, more bumped and also way harder. And this is because of the color map. Because I set this area to black, mostly, <coughs> and the rest is white, so it's smoother. That's the color map. Um, of course, again, everything of this is going to be included in the next demo, uh, in the next version of my package as a demo. So you can use that then if you don't want to do it yourself. 
And here comes a bit more uh, part that is a bit more tricky, and it's the depth map which I haven't opened up. Where is the correct depth map? There it is. Okay. So this is the depth map that we're using, and what it says is, at parts w uh, that are white, we have a we have lots of, translu of uh, translucency, and black parts are not translucent at all. Um, we should go back. And if you now have a look at the ear, you can see the light is coming from over there, and we can see the light going through the ear. As well as over here. Obviously, we don't have shadows on because this is right, uh, the indie version right now, so you can see the light. Usually, with the pro version, you wouldn't see the light over here because there would be a shadow, obviously. Um, if you would use the pro version, you should um, use this depth map because then you would get uh, translucency on other parts of his face as well. Um, but this obviously doesn't work. I can show you why. Uh, it doesn't work with the indie version because then you have this, yeah, this glowy face which uh, disappears at the exact moment where you use shadows. And if you use a different map, you don't have this issue. Um, how do you get this? First of all, obviously, you could paint it by hand. So let's say, okay, let's paint a bit by hand, something like this, and the rest is all black. Well, that's obviously not so good, and I haven't spent much time obviously on painting now. Um, there's also a different version um, where you can, or a different approach, recently published by uh, DICE, the guys that are currently working on the engine for Battlefield 3. Um, what they did, and what I also used to get my depth map. Oh wait, I gotta flip that to top. Um, first of all, you bake ambient occlusion with not so many samples, please, because this is obviously a demo. And what you do is you flip, you flip it. Uh, you're flipping the normals of your model, and um, when you use. Uh, large fall off in this case and what you do then is you're baking the ambient occlusion you're flipping the normals again and what you get then is black parts and white parts what it means is at the black parts you have translucency or a uh, yeah, a more thin um, part of the model and the white ones are thick parts of your model. If you invert this I guess you can easily recognize that it looks somehow similar to this one. Obviously this is done with more samples but it's uh, done with the same method and yeah then you get a very you have a very quick uh, method to get yeah a depth map for your model, a pre-computed one, and that, and uh, you can use that one to calculate areas where you get tr uh, where you have translucency, and that is basically it. Um, obviously, you can change the color of the translucent parts. Although it might look a bit strange if his ears glow <laughs> in a blue light, probably. And let's choose a red color again. Um, you can set the um, SSS power, which means let's wait. There we go. Now you can see it. Um, SSS power means if I set this to 1, you see his skin is more reddish because it's adds, uh, it's adding up this color multiplied by the color from the color map. And 
usually I use some values like 3.5 something around this and 7 or if I use 1 in this case you won't you won't see anything or nearly anything and if I enter higher values you can see again the color change on a skin the far uh, the further away it is from the light source and you have a translucency strength value as well let's just exaggerate this a bit so you can see um, if I raise this up you get really 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 high glowing ears and if I choose usual value like 2 or 1 that looks a bit more normal um, this one is a vector you shouldn't change at all usually you don't want to change it um, you could change it if you for example want this but that looks really really strange so you shouldn't change it at all and you can correct the smoothness value using this slider over here so this gives, gives a very hard skin and now it's getting smoother. Um, one thing I usually do is I change the specular color. Um, you usually pick something like uh, white or gray or yeah something like this but I pick usually a bit yeah a bit bluish color. Um, reason for this is yeah skin reflects blue more than red and green and yeah so I I usually pick uh, this color because it's more realistic and I hope oh wait I forgot these values um, you can change the brightness on the side uh, on the side where it receives light over here and you can also change the thickness which changes the um, area where it receives light but usually you want to set it to something like this this would be the exact same area as it would be for bump specular as you can see if I put it up it's a bit more and you usually uh, just want a bit more than the usual area and yeah if you want to change the amount of color that is changed on the lid side over here you can change this slider to get more or less color and now I think I'm really done. oh wait of course you can change the blending if you for some reason um, didn't get the exact blend map that you wanted to create you can change it with this slider so you get the results that you want. And that's it. I hope um, it helped. And bye.